this one. All right, so we're gonna do a quick requested tutorial here using the alive civilian population modules and using a fixed wing with the close air support. And we'll go ahead and jump into civilians first. First, you're gonna need a civilian population module. You can set the settings however you wish, pretty straightforward for the most part. Um, you can set hostility to each side. And then um, you can select civilian roles, and this just determines the types of special civilian roles that you'll get in asymmetric missions, such as maybe asking, talking to town elders and such. So we'll leave that off for now. Set this. And we'll need a civilian placement module. Set up the uh, settings real quick. Force faction, uh, the faction that will be used to spawn civilians. Um, you can set the placement level, how many civilians will be spawned in each objective. Um, we can spawn ambient vehicles if wanted and set the faction of that. And that's all we need. We're going to skip the blacklist and TAOR markers for now. Going to jump straight into the mission. Go ahead and turn on debug real quick, and we can see all the civilians that have spawned in for each location. Good. We can see a uh, ambiently spawned vehicle. Vehicle, we can hear the music going on over here. More vehicles, a couple civilians walking about. There you can see. Pretty easy, straightforward. Now, if you want to restrict civilians to a single town or a certain area, you can use a TAOR marker. So we're going to create a marker and name it. Make it either rectangle or ellipse. Make sure it covers a civilian cluster, which you can view by turning on debug in the civilian placement module. It'll show circles over each civilian cluster, which is where they will be able to spawn. So we've created our marker, place it over that city, and place it in the TAOR marker section of the ambient civilian placement module. We'll go ahead and start it up again. Alright, we're in, and you can see, with debug enabled, there are no civilians spawned on the rest of the map, but only in this town, as we had seen. Now, if you wanted to reverse that situation, say, only have civilians spawn on the rest of the island and not that city, you would then take that marker name and switch it from TAOR to the blacklist section, and it would spawn civilians in every other cluster on every other cluster and city on the map, except for that blacklisted marker. So that's going to be it for our civilian section. We'll move on to Kess. So first we're going to need a combat support module, not any of the artillery cast transport, just the straight up combat support. Um, we'll switch the item needed to access the combat support section of the menu to item radio just for easy testing. And set respawn limits and respawn times for destroyed uh, combat support assets. And then we'll 
input a cast unit. You can select its call sign, its spawn height, and the type of vehicle that will be used. We'll go ahead and switch this to an A10. You'll just need the cast name or the uh, class name of the unit, which is in the upper right uh, section of the menu when in uh, when in the insert unit screen. Just copy paste that straight in here. So now it will use an A10 instead of the automatically defaulted uh, Apache, I think. Comanche. We'll go ahead and put it on the runway. And then we'll need to sync the cast module to the main module to make sure it's recognized. Have it on the runway. Then we'll go ahead and load in. And we're in. We can see our see our close air support unit right there, placed where the module was. And we can access the combat support through the alive menu, which can be accessed via the app key. We can see our different sections. Right now, it's only casts that we place down. We can see our call sign. And then we'll go ahead and tell it to move off somewhere. So we've set our waypoint and you'll see it start to take off, speed it up. There we go, he's taken off and he will move to the waypoint that we've given him. Just over here in this general area. There he goes. Now if you wanted him to land, you would simply hit order unit RTB and he would come from the correct side of the runway, which is down here for this specific runway. So it would come in from this direction, land, and then reset, taxi all the way back around. And now one problem with CAS and just AI units taking off in general, whether it's alive or not, is they have to take off from the correct side of the runway, otherwise they will taxi all the way back around until they are on the correct side. So I'll go ahead and showcase this right now. Some maps don't have correctly configured runways for AI, and this can create some issues when trying to uh, use the combat support module. One of them is Clafgan. All right, we're in. We can see him sitting down there. Give him a waypoint off airfield. You will see, instead of taking off, he will taxi all the way back around until he gets over here, which one he'll finally lift off. Let's turn it now. And he'll take off. A little loopy. But <laughs> Alright, so that concludes both the civilian population modules and the post air support combat support section using fixed wing.